Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm out in the National Forest today hiking around. It's 95, 96 degrees again, but today there's a slight breeze, so it helps helps with the humidity, cools you off a little bit. But there's a chance of thunderstorms tonight, so I'm going to need a shelter other than a mosquito net. I need something that will keep the rain off of me, be able to withstand gusts of wind, and definitely not let heat build up. So I'm going to choose the Adirondack tarp shelter. It's completely open on one side and with the sloped walls it's going to help dissipate that heat and not build it up around me. It's going to definitely protect me from the rain and it's pretty wind resistant. So let's go over the setup, some pros and cons of it. So this time I'm using a 10 by 10 tarp, various lengths of cordage, and four stakes. Let's get busy. So I think I found a good shelter spot. See all these small trees? Right here they kind of form a, a circle shape. And in the center here, it's actually raised up slightly higher than the surrounding ground. The ground slopes that direction. There's almost, almost a ditch right here of erosion. So the water is going to go down that away from this raised area where I want my shelter. Good firewood. So I've cleared out, got all the sticks, pine cones, everything that could puncture my tarp or make me uncomfortable out of the way. All the grass and small trees can bend over. I like the raised area. I don't have any large dead pine trees in my immediate area that could fall on me. And that's definitely something you gotta watch out for. As far as the widow makers, I do have some dead limbs above me, but that's almost unavoidable because every pine tree has dead limbs on it. You just kind of have to position yourself in the right spot. I like to use 550 for a ridge line. And I'll run this about neck height. I usually have a loop already on my cord. I'll just run the whole thing through that. It's about the height I want it. All right. For the Adirondack, we're using this 10, 10 by 10 Chill Gorilla Superfly. It's a lightweight tarp. I've used it quite a few times now. I like it. It comes with the string, stakes, all that good stuff. And this is where it gets real simple. You just take one of the corners. Drape it over your ridge line. So that's all I did is I took one of the corners, I draped it over the ridge line. And you want to go about the middle of the side. We'll sit on the ridge. In the middle of the side over here. If that sounds complicated, I'll explain it another way. Okay, I've got my ridge line run, and it's running about right here. Now, in a lot of videos that I've seen, they go, okay, count from the corner, one, two. Don't bother counting from the corner. In between the corners is the middle, and that's where you want to go to. Every tarp that I know of will have grommets or a loop at the corners and at least in the middle also and that's all you're doing is you're going to the middle so the middle of this side and the middle of that side will go right over your ridge line so let's take the middle of this side and bring it up to my ridge line right here now normally I already have these loops made for attaching tarps to the ridge line but I think I left my other stake pack 
at the other campsite, which is about six miles away. So that'll make an interesting video going to go get that. I might just make the hike just to get the stakes. There's our plastic knot. Of course it works. Still slide it around, but all right. I'll stick a stake in there for a toggle. There we go. Just hangs like that. Now I need to go to the middle of the other side and attach that to the ridge as well. So now we've got the center of this side hanging on the ridge. We've got the center of this side hanging on the ridge. We're just going to pull them apart and make it tight. I'm going to pull this till it gets pretty tight. And so there you have it. By going to the middle of this side, securing it to the ridge line, and then down the middle of this other side, securing it to the ridge line, it gives that it makes that corner hang over. Or under. Now it's over. Now let's go stake it out. Now here it is from the other side. Got our back corner. Got the other corner hanging down over there. Got this corner hanging down over here. And the other corner is flopped over our ridge. So just like the ridge, we're going to go to the center of this side here, between that corner and this back corner, find our center point, which is going to be a grommet or a loop, pull it tight, stake it down. Now we'll do the same with the other side. We'll go to the center between the back corner and this corner. Pull it tight. Stake it down. You notice we're going diagonal from the center of this side to the center of that side. Center of that side to the center of that side. That leaves four corners loose. This corner is loose. This corner is loose. Same with that and that. So, Take this corner and tuck it up under. We'll take this loose corner and stake it down. We'll do the same thing with the other loose corner. Here's the loose corner on the other side. Just pull it tight, stake it down. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we've got our two corners staked down. We've got this back corner loose and it's tucked up under. Let's go to the center of our tarp here. I've got a loop here. Let's pull this up and give us some room in there. And you can run it to a tree. Run it over a stick and then down to the ground, whatever it takes to get that up. And it doesn't have to be straight back. It can be at an angle. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be running it at an angle to this oak tree over here to pull it up. Just run it up here. Pulled it pretty tight. All right. I think I'll give it a little bit of slack. Tie that off. Now we're good to go. Let's check out the front. All right, so this is a corner. It has either a grommet or a loop. I'm just going to slide the loop of my cordage through there, stick a stick in it. Now I've got a toggle, easy release. I'll just run it over to this tree. Pull it a little bit tight. Tie it off. So let's talk about some setup options and some pros and cons for this setup. Now the first con I want to show you is the potential for water to get trapped and build up on the roof with this configuration. 
Adirondack, the more level it is, and the tighter it is, or even if it's loose, it doesn't matter how tight it is, you've got the potential for water to build up here. And as it builds up, it will sag down and get heavier and heavier. So on heavy rains, if you're going to fall asleep, you might wake up with a tarp in your face dripping water. So you want to be mindful of that because this top can collect water. And it will if you have the right rain in enough time. So that's something to consider. Now, one of the pros, the way to get rid of that is to fold this over. Now you've got a ridge line right here. Go under the ridge, fold it over. So you can take that back flap, make it go around the ridge like that, then secure it. You can tie both of these off together. You know, or tie this down, or even run a string down here, whatever you want to do, just to hold this back. And that'll prevent water buildup in that center area. Now one of the cons to the Adirondack, it's pretty tight for two people, especially if you need it for protection from the rain, because you've got this line here that you want to stay away from. And it doesn't leave a lot of room for two people in gear. You're better off with another setup. However, for one person, putting your gear there is a great idea. And more than enough room to stretch out. You're plenty far away enough from this edge, so rain's not going to be a big deal. Well, I like the Adirondack shelter, but how do I incorporate a mosquito net into that so I don't get eaten up by bugs at night? Well, if you want a mosquito net, my recommendation would be another setup. But if you've already got this set up and it's raining and, you know, it's dark, it's time to go to bed, obviously you're not going to get out in the rain and start designing a new tarp shelter. So for that situation, that's when you just got to have the right equipment with you. You pull out some duct tape and you take the top of that mosquito net to your tarp. Now another pro to the shelter is it makes a great stealth camping shelter. You're invisible from the back and two sides and you can lower that ridge line and get pretty close to the ground. Well, tent's all set up so I'm good to go for now. Join me in the next video when I hike six miles to recover some tent stakes. Maybe. May not do it. I don't know. I have to think about it. But thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Oh, well, heck yeah. I went back to get it. I was going to leave a bag of steaks out in the woods. Oh yeah. So, now I've got to hike back. There's a jet flying overhead. I'm waiting for the jet. 500 plus miles per hour. It shouldn't take very long. Since I hit a tree where the steak is supposed to be, I'm just going to re reshoot it off. Don't want to make it confusing. Take two, I hit a tree.